Live from Coleman, Alabama, Premier Bank presents Wake Up Coleman. <laughs> well, I feel pretty awake, you know. It's finally Friday, and hello, everybody. Good morning, and welcome to Wake Up Coleman. I'm Natalie Bonner. And I'm Mick Bolum. Thank you guys for joining us this morning, and, you know, I'm just pretty excited because TGIF was invented for this day. Yes, yes, and, and, and old Ted, the guy that reads the obituaries, it's his birthday today, so, uh, you know, meet me down the road, and we'll go out and uh, have a great time, but if I, I don't catch you down coffee. the road, <laughs> we'll catch you again <laughs> down the road, but. Well, happy birthday, Ted. We are so happy to have you here. No problem. All right, well, moving into news of uh, current yeah. awareness. We've I want to have something that I want to promote. Well, I just read this. I okay. shouldn't say I'm promoting it. But Park and Recreations is having a great event. It's a mother and daughter and a father and son night. Now, this is November 20th. That's a week from today. But there's a pre-registration. So you have to get out there and get a hold of them. It's $30 a ticket. But the good thing is, like the, the mother and daughter night, there's a makeover, uh, a pajama party, and a dance-off. So it should be totally embarrassing for <laughs> the kids. And the father and son night will be at the Wellness Center, and they'll have like a, a building competition, uh, different games, dodgeball. So, you know, you got my, your teenage son that's been giving you trouble for a long time. <laughs> Whammo! You get away with it, no police, and you know, everything's good. But let me give you a, a number on that. To get a hold of the Coleman Civic Center at 256, excuse me, 7349157. And get registered. I think that would be a great thing when you're busy and you don't have a lot of time to spend with your children. That would be a good thing to do, wouldn't you think so? Yeah, definitely. I think yeah. that would be a great bonding activity for sure. And Speaking of just great activities coming up, of course we have, you know, Christmas Open House this weekend, which we'll talk a little bit more about later. Um, that is this weekend, Saturday, November 14th, and Sunday, November 15th. We have a lot of different activities coming up for that, so um, we will talk a little bit more about that later. But um, now, isn't now the time that we go to Facebook, find out the sponsor of the day, and, oh, are you going to, and, uh, We'll uh, give these great gifts, and we'll give you time to call in. Mad Dog Mike's free barbecue pack, one pound of meat, two 16-ounce sides, and four buns. And Chick-fil-A, a chick sandwich combo, or a chicken <coughs> nugget combo. Great prize there. That is a great, great prize. Well, we are going to talk a little bit right now about Christmas in Coleman. Christmas Open House is a part of Christmas in Coleman. So basically, if you want to know who all is participating retail-wise, go to christmasincoleman.org, click on Open House, and look at all of the different retailers that are participating this weekend in Christmas Open House and see what different specials, discounts, kid activities, um, etc that they have to offer so definitely go and check that out and just know that it's going to be 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturday and um, there's going to be some select hours on Sunday but this is an event that Coleman has had going on for ever it seems like so we definitely yeah. encourage everyone to go out and do some um, early holiday shopping and if you're not busy tonight Karma's Coffee House is having a singer-songwriter there's four ladies there that are going to be performing and tomorrow I'm going to plug myself I'm going to be at Berkeley Bob's from two to three he's going to have music from one to six uh, five different artists there and it just something to do you know I know basketball season <coughs> starting and roll tide and then the Auburn Tigers are going on but just hit you with that in case you want to get out and about and see us definitely well that sounds like a lot of fun Coleman's never short on events or um, fun things to do for sure and we have a really great, great guest with us today. Her name is Courtney Kinneman. She is a um, artist and a newly, um, newly an author. realized author. Yeah, so yeah. we are excited to talk to her about her process 
and her background and how she's come to be where she's at today. But right before we go to her, we are going to talk about Finders Keepers. Um, if you have not been out to Finders Keepers, and we've been talking about this all week, they are just full of exactly what they say, antiques, gifts, and treasures. And they've got this incredible part of where they are participating in Christmas Open House um, this weekend. They invite you to come out and participate in their Christmas Open House scavenger hunt. And um, so if you're not sure what that is, all of their vendors or any of their participating vendors have decided that they're going to give away a free item, but you have to find that free item. Mm -hmm. And it and should be a lot of fun. And they also acquired uh, Deep South uh, Classics merchandise and we'll be selling it there. So you'll have some great gifts to look at and Definitely. Christmas coming up. Definitely. What a yeah. great, great selection of stuff. Well, if you'll stay tuned, we'll be right back. Fire. Accident. Storm. They all happen in Coleman County, and for three generations, Night Free Insurance has been there for you. Continuing today with Elliott and Westcott Free, customizing your life, home, auto, and business insurance with companies like Auto Owners, State Auto, and Southern Guarantee. Call Westcott, Elliott, Judy, Tina, Angie, or Nelda. Night Free Insurance, where people are the difference. Life lived in black and white is not a life lived. Today, I choose color. To see it. To feel it. To be in it. To be upon it. And to live a life surrounded by it. Today, I put on a fresh coat. With classic bolognese behind you, there are racks of lamb ahead. There are tartlets to take on and crazy knife skills to perfect. There is you and your muse, the appliance brand more chefs choose. Chefs choose KitchenAid for their homes more than any other brand. And when every machine does incredible things, there's so much more to make. All right, everybody. Well, welcome back, and we have Miss Courtney Kinneman with us, and we are very excited to have you on the show today. Thank How are you, you doing? Pretty good. Awesome. Well, um, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Where are you from? How I'm originally from Illinois. I've been in Alabama since 2000. Um, okay. And I've, I've always been an artist. I've always drawn and everything, and it just, it's just all kind of come together. But you're not local, you travel no, in I've, today. I Yes, I come, well, I live in Albertville now. Oh, that's a little ways to so, get. Wow, bit. how far yeah. away is that from Coleman? It's probably about 45 minutes. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. not too not too bad. Yeah, not too well, bad. we do understand that you were an artist. Um, you've had quite a diverse background. Can you tell us a little bit about how you kind of realized your, your gift for um, for illustration and for artwork and then how that's kind of forayed into now you're an author. <laughs> I've been drawing since I was a little kid. Anybody that knows me would that's how they remember me. But mm -hmm. she, Nate Fortner from Whosoever Press came to me and asked me if I would do illustrations for other things and people and I said well sure well these the first story Agnes the Awful just it kind of came to me and Agnes is actually a character that I made up when I was in fourth grade. Uh -huh. And when that story came to me, she was the only one, I mean, she was perfect for it. And um, it just kind of grew from there. So I wrote the first story, and then the second story came to me again, and she was, she was perfect for that. I kind of want to build it into a, a series for kids. Now yeah. on the, the uh, first book, Agnes the Awful, can you give us just a little background on that? I know it's real cute. It's it's kind of a silly little story. Um, and the I, illustrations, real quick, is just fantastic. I don't you. know if you can make that out, but we'll, we'll get some closer ups of it. Agnes is just she's just a crabby, kind of hateful little girl, and <laughs> she's she's just out one day, and mosquitoes happen to be coming by, and she's ranting and raving and and they 
it's it's goofy, but they attack her and <laughs> they suck all the ugliness out of her. Oh, but my. you have it sounds crazy, but you have to read it. It's it's pretty funny. That does sound but, really funny and um, kind of like it teaches children a lesson about maybe how to be a little bit nicer. It does, and there there is there's a whole story into it about okay very these, nice. these are christian based yes, they are. books so that's what and agnes the awful i kind of used the the mosquitoes sucking the ugliness out to at the end because when i first wrote it it was not christian based and i fixed it so that it could be and, and then at the end it makes a comparison to how the mosquito sucked her ugliness out but how so Jesus i can, can picture something here you were in fourth grade drawing the same picture of her and the teacher would say, quit drawing and put your pencils away and I start had listening. doodles on <laughs> everything I own. Everything. I wasn't, I wasn't a doodler, but I could picture you because I've known people like you. Like their book covers would be. Everything. Papers. You know, oh, everything. yeah, definitely. Yeah. Now, how did you, I know that he approached you about doing some illustrations. So at which point did you try your hand at um, becoming a writer and, and becoming an author? I was just drawing her and things and I when I was younger I always used to I had little stories and stuff that I would write but I never really did anything with it but I I just decided that if I, I had this opportunity and sat down one night and I had it was just one of the little ideas I had and I started writing and the more I started writing she came into my head and was perfect and so then it, I started writing it around her and okay. it just kind of very nice worked out well, do you have plans to extend the series from just two? I, yes, I most definitely want to. And I really, um, right now, I have been approached to possibly get them printed to send to missionaries in other countries oh. or and into children. My, my, my sons are, have been involved. It's called the Inspire Tour. Okay. And it's a, a Christian parkour tour. They went from June to August down the East Coast, and then from August to October down the West Coast, and now my oldest son is in South Africa for seven weeks. But this is one of the things I would love to find sponsors to get copies printed to take and be able to give to kids. That sounds things. incredible. Now, did you say parkour? Yes. Wow. If, yes. if you guys don't know what that is, can you give us an explanation for that? Because uh, the, the way I explain it to everybody, it's the, the, the crazy guys that you see jumping and flipping and off buildings and off walls. And off walls. Jumping to rails. Jackie Chan. That's yeah, my, yeah, that's my yeah. oldest son. Like, like, that he loves Jackie Chan. Yeah, I mean, that's some, some wild abilities right yeah. there. So but, I'll have to look into this. Yeah. Um, called the Inspire Tour. That sounds really awesome. You can look. Um, Kane is on YouTube. His name is Kane Brugert. Is my oldest, and then Easton Brugert is my 16-year-old. But the Inspire Tour is on Facebook. It's on YouTube, and then Kane is also on and on Facebook and YouTube. Okay. Well, great. Uh, do we have a contact where people can co contact you about your? I'm books, actually uh, on Facebook. My name is Courtney Kinneman, and that's what I have two on Facebook. I have my regular Facebook, which I use more often, and then I have a, another one. It's it's Pea Putts and Wahoos. It's kind of an art business that I got started. Um, I took a picture of a friend of mine's daughter, and oh. I kind of drew it and turned it into my own style of character. And when I posted pictures, it blew up. Everybody was wanting me to do it. So like I do, a cartoon? Mm -hmm. So almost oh, like okay. a caricature yes. of yourself. But it's but, in my but, style. But it's wow. in her style, oh, and great, she has a great. really unique, awesome style. So um, if people want more information about where to find the book or if they're interested my, in getting a piece of artwork done by you. Yes. Um, contact me on Facebook. Um, the books are available through whosoeverpress.com. But you can also, you can go on Amazon if you go on Barnes & Noble, Books oh. A Million, and all those. They're, I mean, it's all, it's a, they're available at all those places. Okay. Great. Very uh, good. I think you'll be successful. Uh, this is what we need, and they're nice and short, just like yes. my reading. Well, and then the <laughs> second one. <laughs> what I like to read. Yeah, definitely. Um, Agnes the Awful Meets Santa is perfect for right now. She, it really is, yes. She meets Santa, and Santa tells her the true meaning of Christmas. Um, like I said, it's available through Whosoever Press, and uh -huh. um, I've not I've not a lot of people know about me. I'm just starting out, and 
Well, we want to help. Um, we want to help and hopefully change that. So I think that sounds great, and you've great. you've definitely created a character yeah. that's not only charming but very very relatable and likable for young children. So. Um, Thank you for your contribution you. to that. And can you tell us a little bit? I know we briefly talked with you before. You said that you have a Thanksgiving dinner yes. coming up, and you I, to touch on that. I live in Albertville, and I live at the Ashbrook Apartments in Albertville. And I started out, I don't have family or anything down here, and my oldest son is gone. I started out, I was going to do, I got our community room for Thanksgiving Day, and I was going to do dinner for the people that live there who don't have family or anywhere to go. Um, and it's blown up into... A, a lot more than I expected. Um, now I'm offering it anybody that doesn't have wow. a place to go or family or I mean if they can't get out um, one of the things that kind of has really got me like I have to do this now. Um, I had a few people message me yesterday um, one it was a, a woman and her husband had been in a bad car accident he's in the hospital their only car has gone they have a one-month-old baby and she asked me do I know of anybody that would be willing to deliver? Well, I said, you will have Thanksgiving dinner. I promise wow. you that. Wow. And um, so I have to make this happen. Right now I'm in the process of trying to find donations and help because I was going to fund the original, it, but like I said, it's blown into a lot bigger than I expected. And um, it's awesome. I'm, I'm, great, I'm excited, yeah. and now it's made me want to do something for Christmas, too. But yeah. anybody is invited. Um, and they could get a hold of you on your Facebook page with yes. this similar. I have posted it on several different <coughs> things on Facebook. Um, and anybody who, who wants to come, anybody who wants to help, anybody who can help donate um, food, anything. Anything. Yeah. anything. How many people did you feed last year? Um, I actually didn't do it last year. That's kind of what inspired me to do it this year. I sat home last year. Thanksgiving Day was my 40th birthday. Mm -hmm. It was Thanksgiving. It was me and my youngest son just at home by ourselves. And this year I thought, I mean, there's no reason to do that. And yeah. mm -hmm. I have this community room where I can do this. And, and so, I mean, it's just kind of how it got started. But. Okay. Mm -hmm. All righty. Well, that's really inspiring, and um, thank you for that thank contribution, you. too. That sounds like a wonderful um, chance for people out there um, in the Albertville area, even in the Coleman area, if you don't mind the drive, to have a place to go. Yes. Uh, I know that we all also have some other opportunities similar to that here in Coleman, which we'll talk about as we get a little bit closer. Um, we really want to thank you for being on thank the show you. today. Thank, thank you. you so thank very much. Thank you for much. giving me the opportunity, uh, yeah, no definitely. Problem. No problem. Well, if y'all will stay tuned, we'll be right back. Life lived in black and white is not a life lived. Today, I choose color to see it, to feel it, to be in it, to be upon it, and to live a life surrounded by it. Today, I put on a fresh coat. Have you been online to see our brand new website? Go to mycolemantv.com. There you can find links to see a live stream, notes from today's shows. You can meet our sponsors and even meet us here at the station. But don't forget about that Meet the Sponsors link. There you can see advertisements from the sponsors that help keep us on the air. You can also click on the links to go to these sponsors' web pages. My Coleman Television. Let's discover Coleman together. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. 
We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. Oh, we're back, and I hope you all are doing well today. I have something we got to do now. You have to call in with the sponsor of the day and tell us who it is, and you're going to win them great prizes we talked about earlier. I'm going to give you a little hint. Which one of our sponsors serves chicken and is closed on Sunday? Which one of our sponsors serves chicken and closed on Sunday? Give us a call at 256-734-7399, and we're going to have them gifts for you. Absolutely. Sounds good. Well, now it's time for our Facebook friend of the day. And our Facebook friend of the day is going to be Gary Peak, and he likes NASCAR and Winchester rifles. So we would like to give him a large barbecue sandwich from Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue for being our friend on Facebook. And I like Winchester what rifles, too. But we got the weather coming up. Make the switch to Mitch. He's sponsoring it. Mitch Smith Chevrolet. The Almanac for November 13th, the average high is around 70, the average low 46. In 1939, the record high was 85. In 1962, a great year, it was 23 out, the record low. Woo, that's cold. We have that gingerbread screen again, nothing in sight, and I love it. It'll be chilly though, so be prepared for that. Okay, today's high is 61 with a 40% chance of rain. Tonight it's about 40% chance of rain, but we're going to hit to 35 tomorrow morning. And the high tomorrow with 0% chance of rain will be 60. The extended outlook uh, Sunday, not bad, six, uh, 59. We're going to go up into the 60s on Tuesday, kind of decline towards Thursday. Uh, it's going to be a little chilly tomorrow, but it, it's going to go back yeah. up, so that's that's not bad at all. No, I, it I looks can, all right. It's I a, can deal with it. You can certainly tell the sun is shining. It's uh, it's kind of creating. Yeah, warmth. Um, warmth. <laughs> yeah, it's creating warmth some warmth on my face. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Um, so now it's time for our senior spotlight, and we like to show this and uh, remind everyone that it's it's not too bad getting older. It's Well, good morning, folks. It's Friday, so you know what that means. It's sports time. Let's go over some college football since, <clears throat> excuse me, all the Coleman County teams that we've loved are out of the playoffs, waiting next year for their opportunity to make it back to the playoffs and hopefully make it to the state playoffs. But let's go with Alabama, Mississippi State. One of the biggest games last week was Alabama and LSU. And, of course, everybody knows that Alabama's defense, one of the top ones in the nation, held Leonard Fournette for only 35 yards on 24 carries, which is an average of 1.9. But Bama's going to be playing Mississippi State on CBS at 2.30. I'm going to pick Bama on this one by two touchdowns. Auburn and Georgia, the oldest rivalry in the south, is being brought back to us. Over 95 years of these two teams playing each other. Auburn actually has the lead in this series. And the way Georgia played last week and the way Auburn come up against Texas A&M, I'm going to go go Tigers on that one. Then you've also got Ohio State and Illinois. I'll pick State on that. Ohio State, you've got Florida and South Carolina. I'm going with Florida. They've got a good run going. You've got Texas A&M, Western Carolina. It's their homecoming game. Texas A&M all the way. 
Vandy and Kentucky. This one's actually close. Upset of the week, Kentucky over Vandy by 10 points. Another upset of the week is Memphis over Houston. Yeah, Memphis had a bad game against Navy, but Navy with that triple option, read option attack is very hard to defend. You've got Baylor and Oklahoma. Oklahoma, the biggest upset of the week, Oklahoma over Baylor. If y'all watched last week, TCU and Oklahoma State played last week for the top 10 in college football. Of course, TCU couldn't hold up with Oklahoma State. They lost, bit the bullet. They're not out of the playoff contention race, but they pretty much dropped out of the top 10. And here's your top 10 starting from Tuesday. Clemson's number one, Bama's number two, Ohio State's three, Notre Dame four. If the playoffs started today, Clemson would play Notre Dame and we'd have a rematch of last year of Alabama and Ohio State. Your first two out are Iowa and Baylor. Next would be Stanford, Oklahoma State, LSU, and Utah. It's going to be a close matchup. The biggest games I would watch for, the two ranked ones, would be Bama and State, which I see Bama winning fourth quarter easily. They'll stop Dak Prescott from running. Baylor, Oklahoma. Oklahoma had a bitter loss to Texas in the Red River rivalry. Ever since then, they've only allowed 28 points, so – their defense with Baylor's high-octane offense plus with a backup quarterback in, it's going to be very interesting to see how that plays up. But I've got Oklahoma by at least a touchdown. And that's it for sports, and we'll be right back with Community Billboards. and shipping this season think of us as your guardian angel get the expert care you deserve with the pack and ship promise only at the ups store with premier bank and i'm jacob mullen for more than 26 years we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of coleman and surrounding counties we continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. With classic bolognese behind you, there are racks of lamb ahead. There are tartlets to take on and crazy knife skills to perfect. There is you and your muse, the appliance brand more chefs choose. Chefs choose KitchenAid for their homes more than any other brand. And when every machine does incredible things, there's so much more to make. Now it's time for our community billboards brought to you by Pepsi. And the Mount Olive Church Ladies Christmas Bazaar will be Saturday, November 14th from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Fairview Town Hall. They will be serving breakfast biscuits, lunch, which consists of soup, sandwich, dessert, and a drink for $6. Don't miss out on famous homemade desserts, cakes, cookies, pies, and more. And the Cantante Della Donna Coleman Select Women's Assembly presents Simple Gifts, Tuesday, November 17th, 7 p.m., 7th Street Baptist Church. That's 708 7th Street Southwest, Coleman. Free admission, suitable for all ages. And St. John's third annual Christmas Festival and Outdoor Market will be December 12th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. This is a community festival which celebrates all of these wonderful things, as you can wow. see here, they'll have a plethora of different music entertainment available. A can <clears throat> excuse me, a candy cane lane, which consists of all kinds of kids' activities and different things like that, as well as the Dinkelberg Market with over 40 market vendors with, with arts, crafts, and food. And the Bosom Buddy Smoked Ham Turkey Fundraiser is going to be on. Uh, Coleman County Bosom Buddies Foundation is having a smoked ham and turkey fundraiser around 10 pounds or less pick up november 21st from 10 a.m to 11 p.m i'm sorry 12 p.m at freddie day's catering located at 1628 second avenue northwest in coleman to order please contact christina at 
6300. Deadline is order is November 14th. The cost is $35 each and prepayment only. All right, and if you have a community billboard, just let us know. You can visit us online at MyColemanTV.com, send us an email at MyColemanTV at gmail.com, or give us a call at 256-734-7399. And don't forget to like us on Facebook at My Coleman Television. And again, we are sponsored by Pepsi. And I'm wishing you a happy birthday today on this Friday, Ted Allen Carwile and Dr. Joe Jowers. Mm. And wishing you a happy birthday on this Saturday will be Fritz Schumann. And on Sunday, Hank Oppel and Laura Brock. And don't forget, we're about to do that drawing for our weekly winner, and whoever wins will receive an ice cream cake from Dairy Queen. And don't forget, you must get online or give us a call. Let us know about your anniversaries. This is a wonderful chance to win a $15 gift certificate from the Candle Garden, completely free. And our sponsor of the day is Chick-fil-A. So come, and, come by and get those great prizes. And um, that horn in the background's for free. And don't forget to like us on Facebook and um, and go to Facebook and uh, follow us to find a sponsor of the day and win those great gifts. Definitely. Well, you know what? Unfortunately, <clears throat> our little Auburn cup is empty because we don't have any anniversaries from y'all. Y'all have got to get online or give us a call and let us know about your anniversaries for a chance to win that $15 uh, gift certificate to the Candle Garden. But we do have our birthday cup, which is our Alabama cup, and I'm going to let you draw. I'm going to let you draw and pick All the winner. All right. Let me see if I can get my big clumsy hand in there. <laughs> Fritz Schumann is the winner. Well, awesome. Congratulations, Fritz. You are the winner of a free ice cream cake from Dairy Queen. So we are pretty excited about that for you. Great, you can't, great. can't not win with an ice cream cake from Bur from Dairy Queen. So. Right, and I always give this offer out when you win that. I will meet you in the parking lot and help you eat half of it <laughs> if, you, if you need to. I mean, that's up to you. Well, but I just want to give a real quick hint before, well, it's not a hint, a suggestion, because I just did it. But go out and look. If you're one of us county guys that have that propane gas, go out and check your gas. See where it's registered at. It's getting kind of cool out if you get stuck low and you know, sometimes it takes a week or so to get them to come out there and put gas. Be prepared for that. I just wanted to throw that in there. Yeah, no, that's very good advice. And um, you can't, you cannot be warm enough. Um, I think there's, <laughs> there's going to be a little bit of a cold front this weekend. At least that's what I, um, I kind of got from everyone at work. Everyone started to freak out about how cold it was going to be, like some slight freeze Saturday morning. So. Yeah. You guys just uh, take the appropriate measures to take care of that in advance. And We're tougher than Jacob. I don't We're not going to You cry. know, the more, the more <laughs> it's starting to transition, I might be siding with Jacob uh, okay. in that I don't, I don't think I like it at all. Well, I but. a little Yankee blood, but it's kind of thinned out during the years down <laughs> here, so all right. it's tough. Well, we appreciate you guys watching us this morning. We hope you have a wonderful weekend and that you'll join us again on Monday. And again, I'm Natalie Bonner. And I'm Mick Bolin. And uh, we hope you all have a wonderful weekend.